Hey, what's up guys? Go Reacts back with another one. And in this video, we are going to cover a clip from the god awful Fox News channel. Now, I do not watch any mainstream media. I don't watch CNN, I don't watch MSNBC, and I certainly don't watch Fox News Channel. This lady, Laura Ingram, I've never really seen her show. I've seen her maybe a couple of times. I uh, don't know if this is her own show, or if it's a segment, I don't know. The Ingram angle, I don't know it. Uh, and the reason why is because the mainstream media is full of shit. It is propaganda, state-run media that is primarily interested in ratings and passing off agendas to unsuspecting viewers. Now, that ain't my cup of tea whatsoever. Um, however, this clip that has come out recently is very interesting to me for a number of reasons, uh, and I wanted to get into it, so let's do that worried about slow speed presidents and vice presidents well that may be the least watched show on tv but do you know what the most watched is yellowstone 14.7 million people watched the premiere of that kevin costner show it's sort of a king lear set in the west it's bonanza meets dallas there's a reason people are in love with this though laura it is an antidote to the politics and all those woke storylines in so many shows today you know oh brother I regret ever using the word woke on social media, man. Now it's become this weaponized, co-opted dog whistle word. When before it was just like a cool piece of slang that artists and entertainers used. The first time I ever heard the word was in an Erica Badu, Georgia Ann Muldrow song. That is awesome. Heard the word in the song, thought, man, that is a cool word. Started using it on my social media, maybe using it in a couple songs. And now it is unrecognizable. Look how they massacred my boy, man. Huh. I just hate when shit like that happens. It just, it's become this big, contentious subject now, when before it was just like a, a cool piece of slang. I was watching an episode of uh, You where measles came up. Wait, wait, wait. When did I mention measles? I don't know. It was on you. What, 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 what was on me? What are you talking about? Right? What is, the, is the Raymond even hearing what I'm the saying? I never had the measles. Was on you. We never did a. a we never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I, is this a joke? I, know. I don't even know what it, you're talking about. It was on you. It was on you. I've never had Raymond. I've never had measles. What are you talking about? This is stupid. It was. What are you talking about? This is stupid. Okay, this has to be a scripted bit. There's no way that this is authentic in any shape or form. No way this woman is that dumb. Not a chance. This is like something out of a fucking Adam Sandler movie. It feels like they're delivering lines. It doesn't feel authentic in any way. I don't know, man. And the reason why they would do this is because it would get people's attention to get people watching this dead dinosaur that is the mainstream media. They're dying. It's an episode of a show, Laura. What's it called? You. What is you. He talking about? It's called you. I've never done a show on measles. I, I just completely give up. We gotta get it's out. It's a this. show I, I give up. called you on Netflix. There's a show called Loring on Netflix. Do you see how low the mainstream media goes to get some fucking ratings? It is trash. I don't know if the bit is scripted or not. If it's not scripted, this lady's a dummy, and man, she's dumb. But if it is scripted, it is incredible how low the mainstream media will go. Completely sacrifice your reputation to get some ratings, to get some viewers. And you know what? I'm kicking myself because I'm sitting here watching the damn clip, just like hundreds of thousands of other people are online right now. So in a way, who's the dummy, right? At the same time, I just think I would never sacrifice my personal reputation to get some fucking viewers. It's trash. I'd never purposefully act like a dummy. I don't know. But again, who knows if it's fake or not? It feels fake. But who knows the truth, really, other than the people who are in the studio?